Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, welcome back to the UK. I've literally just touched down from America where I've been filming with Audi. You're about to see that, but before you do, make sure you check out Squarespace from online stores to marketing tools and analytics. Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. If you're thinking of ever building a website, be it a passion project or a business, Squarespace is your go-to. There is a discount below. When you set up your website, make sure you save that link and the code and you'll save money when you set up a website. They've got loads of tools to enable you to build a beautiful website. Not only looks amazing and it's very impressive, but also works really, really well. Particularly important if it is a business. They've got loads of beautiful templates on there enabling you to get going ASAP. You can set up subscription models. You can make your mobile you can make your site mobile optimized very, very easily and quickly. There's even SEO tools on there as well. You can set up membership sections of your website and you can also create beautiful email campaigns as well. Loads of really important stuff for business, loads of really important stuff for you building a beautiful website and it's all super accessible. Hit the link below anyway and you'll get a discount when you set up your first website. Anyway, save that, give it a click, open it in another window and let's head over to America with the new Audi RS6 Performance and I am. Let's go. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to California. It is time to drive the RS6 Performance because I'm out here with my wonderful other half, Hi. right here, which you'll be thrilled about, I'm sure, better than my face. We are here with Audi to drive the new RS6 Performance and the RS7 Performance. Today, we are in the RS6 Performance. We're gonna take it for a spin and I am gonna scare the life out of you. Well, I've just seen sharks, so I'm very excited. Good, we're gonna go shark watching as well, but I don't think much of that will make it into this channel. You may well release a video on your channel, because Anthony has a channel now as well, so I'll leave the link below to that. Anyway, let's go around the RS6 performance, we'll go for a little drive, and we're gonna see how you handle it, because you are one of the world's worst passengers. I think you're actually worse than Archie Hamilton, and that is saying something. Um, he's worse than you in many other ways, but we're just talking about being a passenger. Right, let's go for a little walk around this car, it's very special, and then we're gonna go out for a drive. Have you got anything to say, other than shark other stuff? Other than I've just seen a shark. Um, no, I love this car, this has been a great, we've had a great drive here. It was about an hour and a half. Yes. Um, it's been fabulous. Yes, we'll get into what we've been doing in, in the car. Not so sunshine state. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It was a beautiful day yesterday. Yeah, should have filmed then. Anyway, let's go. This then, ladies and gentlemen, as I've already said, is the RS6 Performance. This is the global first drive. It's kind of the first press drive globally of this car. We've got people from all over the world out here to drive it. I feel very, very lucky. So it is not just a normal RS6. We all know that the normal RS6 is an absolute beast. It is the benchmark in uh, performance wagons and actually just the benchmark for performance family cars. And actually almost, I think you can credit Audi with starting this whole genre, which is now obviously huge. So the performance version of this car has updated splitters. It comes as standard with matte gray down here on this, on this kind of splitter and round the side and round at the back. But this particular variant has matte carbon, which is very special. It's also got matte paint, a very special variant of silver, the name of which escapes me, which I'll stick on the screen right now because I can't remember it. Uh, but this is actually a matte silver paint, which kind of has this green fleck to it. I don't know if you can pick that up here, but it's kind of almost a champagne greeny color. The wheels are all new for the performance. These actually shave off five kilograms per quarter for this wheel design, and they are extraordinarily nice. My favorite variant is actually on the RS7 that we were driving, the Nardo Grey RS7 that we were driving. I'll put a photo of that on the screen with the diamond cut finish. And you've also got those Audi ceramic brakes there. I believe they are the same brakes you'll find on an Urus, and I don't think there's much that will stop you better in any car out there right now, because this is not a light car, and it stops on a bean. These brakes are absolutely mental. Those are enormous, enormous wheels. These are 22 inch wheels and the disc pretty much takes up the whole thing. I believe they are 10 pots, potentially. Anyway, insane brakes, insane brakes, and it inspires a lot of confidence. What else to tell you about it? Power-wise, your 30 brake horsepower up on the standard variant of the RS6, and it's actually got 50 newton meters of torque more than the standard RS6. They've shaved some weight out of the car, not just from the wheels, they've even taken eight kilograms of uh, sound deadening and stuffing, stuffing is not the technical term, out from the dashboard as well, meaning this car is actually more visceral 
to drive than its, I say predecessor, but kind of lower down the rankings version. They've also engineered a little bit more excitement into the gear changes, there's faster changes, the throttle response is a bit more aggressive, and the exhaust, to me, sounds a lot louder. So as if on cue, if you want to grab the camera, I'm going to start her up and give her a rev. I don't know if you're allowed to start it up, because you're not, you're not insured. I don't, are you allowed to do that? Let us know in the comments. Sorry. No shark watching, that's for your channel. <laughs> ah, shin. Oh, God's sake. <sighs> Idiot, get on with it. Shut up. Okay. We're in comfort at the moment. We'll stick with dynamic. Here we go. We've got a red limiter. I don't know how we get away with that one, but let's put it in neutral. Sounds pretty noisy to me. Do you like that? Sure. You're a fan of that? I mean, I love the car. Yes, very noisy. It sounds a lot better in the car, but to me, this is it noisier than the standard one? The exhaust has been updated. This is Patrick. Patrick's here. Patrick's here. Hi. He's producing this episode <laughs> today. He's done an appalling job. No, he's nothing to do with it, luckily for him. Right, let's get in the car and go for a drive. Shark's then. gone. It's gone, yeah. Shark's gone. Okay. Shark's gone. Before we get moving then, inside here, we have got quite a standard story from the RS6. However, there are some upgrades and some improvements in here. We've got an Alcantara steering wheel, finishing all around here, is, as you'd expect from Audi, absolutely top notch. Got Bang & Olsen. This is a very, very highly optioned car. We've got satin carbon in here as well, as we do on the outside. And actually, I should have to get out a second. On the interior, you've got new details. So there's more color that's been added to the interior here. And also this comes in various colors as well. So you've got the RS motifs in different colors. Other than that, it's a pretty standard story in here. It's an unbeatable place to be really. No panoramic roof on this one. It remains to be seen. I'm not actually sure whether you can option a pan roof on the performance variant. It'd be a shame if you couldn't, but you obviously got extra detailing on the seat belts there as well. Soft closed doors as well. Are you happy? Very. We should get driving because I've threatened this for enough now, so let's go. Right, let's get going then. We're following Patrick. We are following Patrick. Patrick's now kind of just... Right. Oh God, Vector shut up. Right. Yeah, we'll have to work that. So from the position we're in now, we are off somewhere called Bodega Bay, which is actually responsible for, what was it, 80% of the... 80% sh of the white shark now attacks in right. the whole of the US. No way. Right, we're going to turn... Shut up. Now turn right. Up. Now turn right. No, that's not what I want. How do we meet this silly cow? So, where we're going then is a place called Bodega Bay. Bodega Bay. <laughs> and it's actually responsible for what? What did you say? 80%? 80% of the white shark attacks in the whole of the US. Is that great whites or just? Just white sharks. So yeah, it does include great whites. Dangerous 80%? Seems sharks. quite a lot. I thought most of the shark attacks on the East Coast, like Miami and all those kind of. Areas. That's what I read. Because I I was looking out because everywhere I look, where there's sea, I look for sharks. And we saw what looked like a dorsal, a uh, dorsal fin. And I took a little video on my phone and it went from side to side and then it's disappeared. So we're going to go see if we can find it. Yowzers. It might be wishful thinking. But it looked like it. You saw it, didn't you? Patrick saw it. I don't believe you. Okay, we'll put it on the screen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here you go, here's my video of the shark. Right, first impressions then in the car. It definitely seems a lot noisier and a lot more visceral than the current or standard RS6. <laughs> Right, BRB. Okay, shark watching interlude done then. I didn't see a shark. What was it then? Someone. Tell the viewers. Someone on a paddleboard. <laughs> Someone on a paddleboard. They're they absolutely mad. They were far out. We did see sea lions though. We did see sea lions. Crispies of the sea. Yeah, they do very much remind us of 
a little fat Frenchie. Sleepy, smelly, <laughs> greedy, <hungry. laughs> occasionally aggressive. No, he's not. <laughs> he is if you're a toddler. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like children. He doesn't. So we're going to explain what we've been doing then very quickly. We landed in San Fran um, yesterday or the day before. Um, bit of jet lag up in the morning, went to Golden Gate Bridge, shot some shots there, and then we pinged straight out to the Napa Valley. We were staying in this amazing place called Alia? Ali Alila. 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 It's incredible. It's beautiful. If you stay in the Napa Valley, definitely check it out. It's stunning. Really, really nice place. And then we've uh, shot straight out in the cars today, taking full advantage. Audi have set out these amazing routes. We've taken the longest route um, down to Bodega and just kind of down past the coast to go and see what these cars are about and actually what the area is about because neither of us have been around here before. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's a cloudy day today, but it's still so beautiful. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's absolutely it's lovely. It's an incredible place. Plan for the rest of the time then is hoon about for a bit, yep. film this video, maybe see some sharks and some real sharks uh, so. and then we're going to head down to LA aren't we? We are. We're yep. going to go stay in LA for a bit. I've never been to LA. I actually just can't believe that. I know, I've I been you're dying a, to go. Uh, a lady of the world. I know, I would have thought I was but clearly not. Even I've been to LA a few times. So we're going to go stay at Soho House there. It's just easy isn't it? It's just easy, you know nice. what you're getting. Yeah. You're getting your, uh, you're getting your Marshalls radio and a bit of cow shed. Yeah. Morning, Hello. noon, night on the desk. You know what you're getting. Uh, it's not. It's not crazy expensive either. We, so there's two side houses in LA. There's one West Hollywood, yep, which is where we're staying. Doesn't have a pool on the roof. And then there's another one which is downtown. Uh, downtown, which has got a pool on the roof. It's a. It's a nicer building and nicer facilities, but the area is not quite. I was advised against it. Yeah, the area is not great. Way. Maybe we're being a bit vanilla, but I've never been, so I'm going to go off my recommendations. This is very windy road. Doesn't feel like a big car though. I mean, between the RS6 and the RS7 yesterday, I don't know if it's purely mental, but the RS7 did feel a bit more, um, did feel a bit bigger, and I don't know why. It did, yeah. I, um, I don't know why, because I don't think it is. I actually do prefer this car. I do. I feel very comfortable, very safe, very happy in this car. Not to say I didn't yesterday, but today it's, I really, really like this car. I think as kind of Europeans, or I don't know if we can call ourselves European anymore, um, we are more into wagons. But over here in the States, the RS6 has only just been made available, I think. I don't think wagons are a thing over here. You either get an SUV or you get like a fast saloon car or you get a sports car Everyone no one buys wagons cars, yeah like they say well if you want room in the back just buy a pickup truck surely yeah. so um i think it's a bit of a tester for audi to actually release this car and kind of do a big push in the us they've got a lot of us creators with us on this trip uh, are they surfers in the water yeah they're not sharks <laughs> are they surfers yeah they are mad this is bodega bay but they're mad because there's like shark attacks reported here. Yeah, there are. There was a shark attack two years ago. But like you're just literally relying on statistics. I know. I mean, I think it's unlikely. It's very unlikely. Any likelihood is too much likelihood. Would be for me, but they're made of stronger stuff than us. Absolutely yeah, mad. look at them all. It's mad as a Super box cool of frogs. Though. Surely risk versus reward. You catch a wave, who really cares? Or you might get a limb ripped off. Surely you just think it's not worth it. Mm. It can't be that fun. Oh, I might have a look on shark Is it? Tracker. Do I have any surfers following me? Let me have a little look on my shark tracker. Let's see if there's any track to around here. Probably not, but. There's people watching. Like, what are you watching? I don't get this. Right, where are we? We're here. No, there's none tracked. There's no tagged sharks nearby. The shark tracker app is really good. What's it called? Dorsal? No, Dorsal is one of them. This one is, if you type in shark tracker, I think it's called like Oceana or something. But it's, it's great. You can keep an eye on the sharks. They monitor it. It's a proper like wildlife. <laughs> I'm so dead lagged. <laughs> on this car then has been shaved by 0.2 seconds so I think the quoted time from Audi is 3.4 seconds to 60 miles an hour which is quick I mean this car weighs over two tons I suspect I think it's got some mild hybrid tech in there somewhere just to reduce kind of um, throttle lag and just make sure that it's absolutely instant 
It's a joke how quick it is. It's an absolute joke. And it feels a lot quicker than the standard RS6 because I think of what they've done with the gearbox and the, and the mapping. They've engineered more like excitement and more kind of, I feel like there's more jolt in the gear changes. Mm. But also I think that, I mean, this is obviously someone speaking that doesn't know about cars, but. I mean, it's noisy in here. Sorry, go on. Oh no, forget it, I just lost my train of thought. Good. So would or should one of these make it into the garage, into my collection? How would you feel about me bringing one of these home and saying? I really like it. I mean, obviously I wouldn't drive it quite like you're driving it. No. But um, I would love to drive this. Great for the dogs. Yeah, yeah, it's There's a great dog car. space in the back. It's a good family car for someone that likes cars and is driving quick and, you know, I think it's, the mark yes it's about i think it's about 150 odd thousand dollars out here maybe a little bit more maybe 160 170 once you've optioned it um and in the uk obviously it's going to be what 120 that's on the road it is a lot of cash but it's a lot of car yeah. basically getting a supercar and a family car and everything will roll into one what else can you get around that price range you can get a kind of brand new range rover for about 120 yeah it's obviously going to drive around like a bit of a pudding compared to this but does make a good case for itself. Am I gonna get one? I don't know. I'm still not sold on the idea of a performance family car. I don't think the two need to mix. Yeah, fair. And a daily driver for me, I don't care if it's fast. If I go out in a car hooning with my mates, I'll bring a fast, silly one. And if I'm just using a car to A to B or carry the dogs around or, or we just potter down to the Cotswolds, something like that, a full car, two fur babies, you and a boot full of stuff, I don't want to be doing 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. Like really yeah, uh, the Tesla, I've just got a McCann that's arrived. I don't know that's on the channel yet, I've just let that slip. Um, that's gonna be, uh, gonna collect that next week, whenever it is. Yeah. Uh, when Charles and Dean do the finance on it. I really need to pass my test, don't I? You do, that's probably what, the third car that I've bought you that <laughs> you've not had the license. <laughs> I thought I'd be safe with this one because I ordered like eight, nine months ago. Well, I thought you would too, but unforeseen circumstances, I've since found out I have a lazy eye. So we've had to pause my driving lessons. <laughs> that's a whole video, revealing my lazy eye. Five yeah. things I don't like about my lazy it's, eye. It's particularly lazy today because I'm jet lagged. I it's probably quite, look like I'm winking. Quite a serious um, issue. No, it's not. It's fine. I mean, it doesn't wow. like look the other way, but it's, yeah, apparently I have a lazy eye. It turns out people don't see double of everything when they're focusing on a particular object. How have you got to... Who knew? Your old age without knowing. I know. I found out in my driving lesson and my driving instructor was like, maybe you can't sit in the passenger seat and we'll just get an eye test and then we'll see how we go. I was like... You literally are now banned from learning to drive because you have no, a latent I'm, eye no, defect that's been I'm discovered. I'm postponed. So I will be driving again. It won't be a problem because I'll be able to wear glasses, um, but I just have to do my eye test, which is booked in for next week, so. Nothing to worry about. Me and my cheeky lazy eye. Very cheeky about it. So yeah, more delays on the I'm convinced you've just like punched yourself in the eye to, <laughs> to like cause I that. I want to drive now. I do. Don't. I really do. I do. I know I've got a personal driver and that's fab, but I do want I do want to be able to drive. Your the personal driver myself. is getting very angry. And so I want to do carpool karaoke, you know, and you don't like it when I do that. So this be is good. Fantastic. Yeah, because it's not much to it. You just stick GoPros in and you can take your mates around in a, in whatever car. You get press cars, you get whatever press cars you want. Yeah, that's quite And fun. they just honk round in them and make videos. It's great. Probably get more views than you. It'd be very, very easy to get more views than me at the moment. <laughs> the channel has um, had quite a, quite a downturn, shall we say. A little dip. Yeah, big dip. I'm sorry, I keep looking away. I'm looking out at the ocean for wildlife. I'm convinced I'm going to see a shark. I'm convinced. Mm. Any other business? House videos done well. Yeah. People have been really nice about that. Oh yes, thank you so much. That everyone. went out last night at the point at which we're filming this and the kind of initial response has been really nice. We're super excited. We just love it there. We keep, I mean, it's been amazing this trip, but we keep saying how much we miss our house. Yeah. I just love it there, I really do. It's like a little o oasis out it there. Is. And everyone's been super nice. There. No one's tried to like dump on it and say, oh, it's crap. One, actually, no, one person had a little go and was like, oh, old house, you can have loads of issues. So I, I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> he's completely correct, but he was having a little go, so I told him to go back to his emoji house. Oh, okay. I 
don't think I think that's fair. Old houses no. do have issues, but they, they've also got character. So I'm happy to have a little project going on. Yeah, more we content. Just, there's so much that we want to do, and it's just kind of getting round to booking that all in. I'm yeah. really excited. I'm super excited about opening up the kitchen. Yeah, loft conversion. There's loads. Loft Basically, conversion. what we wanted to do was buy somewhere that there's value to be added. We didn't want it to kind of top of the tree. The plot is unbelievable. The area is unbelievable. I mean, the garden's a fifth of an acre. Like, it's just, it's huge. And I don't it's know if that's beautiful. a flex, a fifth of an acre. Well, it's is a, it a flex? I'd say it's big. I, it's a lovely garden. Mm. I'm just obsessed with it. I spent my life out there, me and my mum. Yeah. Garden as well out there. Mm -hmm. I get home and it's just like literally an episode of Gardener's World. Yeah, I might start watching it, you know. You Shiny. actually, Tom did put on Gardener's World the other day. I don't know if he was trying to give me did I? a hint. Yeah, you did. I went round when, we, when you were in the apartment. Yeah, well, Charlie Dimmock out there. Monty Don. She's got huge Charlie Dimmock. Do you remember Charlie Dimmock? Huge as in big time or fat? Rotund. Because remember she never used to wear a bra. Her riches. Yeah, I know. Don't we all? It was chaos. Bras are for losers. Stop wearing I just mine. find them uncomfy. I don't like wearing them. But Tom likes wearing his, so. I need to these days. Mm. Piling it on. Been doing a Dimmock. <laughs> doing a Dimmock. <laughs> All right, it's got off track. I think that's it from the Audi R6 performance. Uh, it is an unbelievable car. It surpassed my expectations. I did think it was just going to be a rehash of the standard car. No real thought put in. Just you know, change the wheel design, a little bit more aggressive carbon and, and jobs are good. But Audi really have pulled out of the bag. They put a lot of thought into making it more exciting. Um, certainly the feel inside the car is a lot different. It emotional. is. Emotional, that's it, the terminology you have to use. Yeah, it is a bit more emotional. I mean, I'm not in tears, emotional. but it is It is a lot more emotional. And But it, the crucial thing is when you put it back down into comfort, you've basically got exactly the same car again, should you so need it. It's super, super comfortable in here. It's got that, really clever Audi uh, air suspension magneto ride whatever it is so it's it just wafts yeah. it's a fantastic car I, I absolutely adore it and as I say my boring uses for cars are so boring I don't need 630 brake horsepower It'd be nice to have but I just I don't know whether one of these would make it into the garage as a purchase particularly at the moment where I'm trying to be uh, careful with cash Old TG probably would have bought one of these. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is probably why your YouTube was tanked. <laughs> yeah, just talking about- Cause like, your dad chat. Just dad bod problems. <laughs> <laughs> Middle-aged grumpy man oh, problems. Cute cow. Yeah, Hi. cute cow. Hello. Oh, you're on a little raised mouth. Probably be eaten soon out here, they love it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, sensational car. And if you're on the fence about buying one of these, I. You should, we're not being paid to be here, so I'm not yeah. being nice for the sake of it. Obviously, they've been amazing to us here. Everything's been incredible, but if I thought it was crap or boring or just, you know, a lazy attempt at making a better car. It's not boring. No. It's I, not boring at all. It's mega comfortable, which is lovely, but it's also exciting. And you, you love it. I do love it. I love this car. I think it's sexy, and I also think it's just sexy. very comfortable. I really like this car. I'm very fond of it. Very fun indeed. Over and out then, I think. I'm so glad we're not doing that launch control. <laughs> oh, GoPro's falling off. That's how aggressive it is. That's 9.99 of Amazon's finest suction mount and it just threw it off the window. Enjoy that, did you? No. All right, on that note then, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very soon, bye. Bye.